What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and I still have yet to get my first 12 win gauntlet run. Um, most is 11. That was a crushing loss uh, when I didn't get that 12th win with it. Uh, my last gauntlet run was very short lived, so I did not get a gauntlet ticket from it. If you want to see it, it was an Abyssian gauntlet run. I actually uh, did it um, on stream. You can find the stream of that on the Nerp Streams YouTube channel, The VOD. Uh, pretty easy choice here. I don't. Th I think Vitruvian and Songhai are not as good against. Uh, are not as good in Gauntlet, um, especially Songhai. Uh, so I'll go with Lionar. Tends to always do the best with Lionar when I'm playing Gauntlet, and I'll go with the Grincher here. Easy choice. I did get uh, the full Gauntlet run of nine wins way back when when Gauntlet wasn't. 12 wins uh, to finish it up, but um, have not gotten the 12 wins. Hmm. Well, nothing really great here. I guess I'll take the um, Storm Metal Golem. I mean, Hailstone isn't great, but I guess I'll take the 6 drop. Hopefully, we find some Divine Bonds. Silver Guard Knight is always a good thing to have. Moderdom is nice as well, but there's Divine Bond number 1. Mutterdom is some hard removal. Ugh, don't love this row. Toil Sorcerer, put a copy of a random spell you cast this game into your action bar. I guess I'll go with that over the other two. At least it's uh, immediate card draw. Um, Mutterdom number two or Sunbloom? Go with Mutterdom number two. I like having that removal. Uh, ooh, Dancing Wizard is the right lion. That's a tough choice. I'll go with the lion, though. Lion is... I need the two drop. I already have a couple five drops. Another the two drop, the Jaxi. Um, Lasting Judgment. Some more utility. Can destroy anything with three or less health. Emerald Rejuvenator heals us both. and pro I'll go with the Lasting Judgment. I don't like Emerald Rejuvenator anymore because it heals you both. It does not only heal you. Uh, Bastion or Bastion. Interesting. I don't think I'm like enough of a swarmy type deck to get full value of this. Right now, I'm mostly a bigger unit, so this won't be doing that much. I think I'll just take the Chaos Elemental. 4 4 for 3 is good stats. Um, Sunseer or Primus Fist? Primus Fist. 2 drop, and it's very versatile. Um,. Sundrop Elixir, I guess. I mean, not a great row there, but Sundrop Elixir can always be helpful. Uh, Legion Brawler, Light Chaser, Sunstone Bracers. But okay, we gotta think about which general we're gonna choose here. Saran or Argeon? I have healing here. I mean, Ar 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 I think Argeon is just generally better, but the Light Chaser might change things. Nah, I'll just, I'll just go with uh, the Legion Brawler. We're gonna go with uh, Argeon. More consistent there. And then the Suntide Maid is a solid 4 drop, so I don't have any Dispel yet. I keep uh, passing up Dispel. Uh, I guess another Sun Drop Elixir. Flame Blood, just because I want another 2 drop. I don't have that many 2 drops. Another 2 drop. I want more Divine Bonds, so one Divine Bond might not cut it. I guess I don't really need, I don't have like that many, uh, I don't have like any Iron Cliffs yet. Silhouette Tracer is more utility than a unit, but it's not like these cards do a whole lot, so I'll take it just because. I'll take another Flame Blood. Iron Ties can be pretty gimmicky for a win, but. I'll be Sage. That's a very solid 4 drop, but we don't have that many spells. I mean, I guess it still works with like Bloodborne spell. Or I could take Lionheart Blessing for card draw or White Widow. I'll take that. I'll be Sage. Solid 4 drop. Another Lion. Okay, we have ample 2 drops. 3 Lions is 4 Lions. So I take a 4th Lion. Yeah, why the hell not? 4 Lions. <laughs> 
Um, Arclight Sentinel is a versatile 3 drop, can be used as something to remove things. Another Martyrdom for more removal. Okay, we have 3 Martyrdoms, 4 Azari Lions. Uh, it's time to get a solid 4 drop like Sunsteel Defender in there. And. I could get another Flame Blood Warlock. Do we just go full aggro with this deck? Problem is, our deck's not that aggro. I mean. <laughs> I guess having three flame bud warlocks and four Zerite right lions, but I only have one divine bond. And I seem to have like Sundrop Elixir. Like, I don't know if it's that aggressive. I guess Chaos Elemental is pretty aggressive. I'll take it. I mean, I do have a th three, three Martyrdoms and one uh, Lasting Judgment should be enough removal for Lionar um, in, a in a 30 card deck. So I'll take another two drops off, consistent early drops. Okay, do I take a fifth Azurite Lion? Do I take a fifth Azurite Lion? <laughs> no, I think that's pushing it. Five Azurite Lions? Yeah, I'll take the Suntide Maiden. A right, second Suntide Maiden. Solid card. And then Blood Tear Alchemist is good. And finally, our last draw, we do get an Iron Cliff. Cool. Okay, so I think this is a good deck, uh, besides the fact that don't have enough uh, Divine Bonds. Only one Divine Bond is not as many as I'd like. But, see how this goes. Haven't played Gauntlet um, as much as I've played a ranked recently, because when this month started, I played more ranked, so I can get to S rank. And I got to S rank now, so time to play more Gauntlet. I'm going second against Lilith. Unfortunately, I didn't draw any Tempests. Uh, let's get rid of the Twilight Sorcerer and the Silhouette Tracer. Okay, draw. <sighs> drew both of the Sontime Maidens. Interesting. Um, probably a pretty bad card there for just a 1 2 2 for 1. I mean. I doubt he's playing a Mechazord deck in Gauntlet. That would be unlikely, to say the least. Get rid of the Lasting Judgment. So what do I want to do here? I could kill that. So he, I, I guess I should kill that so it doesn't. Uh, so I can deny him the mana spring. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So that means I have to play this in the sphere to get one extra mana. Ping the general because there's nothing else to ping. And let's just put the arc light right in the middle here. So we're simultaneously defending uh, our blood Alchemist from being killed by the general. Okay, so pretty strong start for us. Um, and I already have two of my three flame blood warlocks. Um, Lilith, I don't know, might not be the best matchup because uh, it's a lot of little minions that I don't really have any mass removal for. I think I'd fare better against like big drop decks because I have those uh, three di three uh, Martyrdoms that can just take out whatever I want. That's also healing the enemy general and we're supposed to be aggro. <laughs> so next turn, in all likelihood I play a Suntide Maiden. Grass of Agony. How are you going to kill that? Blood Tear Alchemist. No. That's us too. And a Skyrock Golem. Take out the Skyrock Golem with my general. And then I guess play a Suntide Maiden. Get rid of the Flame Blood. The Zorite Lion. I could go super aggressive and go Flame Blood. Lion. Do I do that? Put the lion up here so it can't be hit, and then maybe, uh. Nah, because he could just trade his Blood Zero Alchemist for my Flame Blood Warlock really easily. So I'd rather not do that. I'd rather play the Sun Tide Maiden while his board does not have 6, uh, six damage to be able to destroy it without any spells or, at, or in hand damage. There's Martyrdom number one. So if he plays a big threat, I could just get rid of it promptly. 
So, I will welcome a big throw at Sonky is that much, not like I've uh, damaged him that much so far. Void Hunter, not really uh, someone I'm going to martyr Tom. And... Doesn't look like he's going to be able to destroy that Sunshine Maiden, so it's going to get a free hit in here. Every time that, every turn that Sunshine Maiden survives, it gets a free hit. Um, so I will just destroy the Void Hunter with my Sun Tide Maiden, because it's going to get healed up to full. Now, I'm going to play Sun Tide Maiden number 2, which I think is going to be the play. I will get rid of Azurite Lion, Chaos Elemental, um, well, sorry, that was me, let me mute that. So I'll go down here, hit that, he will draw a card, but I'm going to get healed up to full next turn. I am going to... I am going to hit a right thing, going down to 14, but I'll have Major control of the board here. And may as well just give one of these um, extra attack, just because I have the mana for it. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think playing uh, these Flame Blood Warlocks uh, preemptively is a good idea because the Wraithlings can easily trade with them. What do you got? Maybe a sacrifice thing to kill it? I don't know. Hopefully nothing. Sunshine Maiden just feels like a very solid card in uh, in Gauntlet. Is this Sunshine Maiden? Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, sometimes I get the names of Sunshine Maiden and Sunrise are confused. I definitely have accidentally called these Sunrisers in the past. They actually used to be in my main Argeon deck until I took them out. Uh, I'm not sure what actually specifically replaced them. Lightbender. Oof, that actually hurts because those guys were getting a lot of free hits in. But, I mean, they're still solid uh, things that are there. Um, I'll get rid of the last Judgment. Primus Fist. So I'm just going to go aggro now. I can actually, the way he's positioned, I can box him in. Well, actually, not quite. I can't actually box him in. Yes, I can. I can box him in. So now he, uh, I someone used on the board. He can't actually play a unit this coming turn. He can't even uh, use his general to, um, yeah, I'll, I'll trade damage check. Actually, never mind. He's not officially boxed in because if he hits this chaos elemental, it will spawn somewhere. Where and then he can uh, play a unit in this spot. Dark transformation. Really, I'm the one that has three health, not the one that has four health. <laughs> Oh, I guess because he wants to run out that way. I see, I see, I see what you did there, Scott. I don't think it's going to save you, though, Scott. I have a lot of things. Um, make sure I don't have a lethal. Oh, he's going to hit that? Okay. Let's see where it spawns. Ooh. Good spawn for me. So do I have lethal? Uh, six plus... Yeah, lethal. Well played. So yeah, I got a lucky spawn with the, um... I don't know, I may have been able to win the game anyways. And then I just... Hit that. Don't even have to show my hand and play the Flying Blood Warlock. Who knows, maybe I'll face him again later in this gauntlet run. Better to know, better for him to think that I don't have it. <sighs> okay. Lion or mirror. I should be well equipped for this lion or mirror, uh, mirror with my martyr noms. Um, ooh, Sunset Defender. I love uh, Sunset Defender against Lionar. Um, 
always seems like when I'm, when I'm playing ranked and I have to face a Sunseal defender, I have no answer other than to just like take so much damage. So goodbye and goodbye. Yeah. I currently have no turn one play though. Which is, I mean I guess I can martyr him whatever he puts down. And he wouldn't take any health. But I'd like to have some units like... I did pick four Azurite Lions and three Flamebud Warlocks, so I definitely have two drops. Do I even have any three drop minions? Oh, I know I have three drop spells, I'm not sure if I have three drop minions. Okay, so good luck, have fun. Shakaras. Shakaras. Okay, he has no play, and that means I might not have a play either. Crap. Nope. <laughs> There's a two jump I could have played. Well, this is how it's gonna go. At least I can, um. If he plays like a, a Silver Guard Knight here, I can just Martyr Dom it. Pretty slow start for the two lion our players. I mean, it's more crazy that I didn't have a play because I'm going second side more. Okay. So I'm gonna replace. Hopefully, I draw a blood to your alchemist. If not, I might just mutter Dom. Um. Let's get rid of. I kind of want to keep the mutter Doms. I could play flame blood and mutter Dom. But that would require me to actually play Martyr on second, which would just heal everything Flame Blood just did for me. Goodbye, Flame Blood. Well, now I had Lion, Lion Flame Blood, so I kind of just got rid of that. I'm just getting Martyr on. I don't want him getting card draw. And I guess I'll. Hit into him? No, I'm not gonna hit into him actually, because I have another Martyr Dom in hand, so I could actually just play this turn. Play some. I play another big thing. That wasn't really big. The Mogwai was a pretty weak target. Okay, no, never mind. This doesn't like get rid of it. He'll still get the Tombstone. Mm. This is a little bit worrisome. You hear that? This worries me. The deal toss. I think I'd rather martyrdom the tombstone rather than the deal toss. Because, I mean, he could easily have a. He could easily have some. Tricky stuff, tricky stuff. I can go Sunsteel. I don't have a three. I could go Chaos Lion. Chaos Lion is at the play. I'm gonna get rid of the Sun Tide now. It doesn't look like uh, I'm gonna have like a chance to play it. Sometimes we're more of a card that uh, when you're ahead you play it and you'd be more ahead. I'll be Sage can get a lot of health. Whatever. I'm gonna go for the. I don't have any way to heal my general. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna walk into his deal toss. I'd rather not do that. So I'll play these. Ah, oh, but the the lion just dies to this so easily. God dang it! It's so annoying. Um, you know I'm gonna have to put the lion up here, which means he can hit me to the face with five. Not my plan but this game would be uh, a lot different if we both had turn one plays okay so those guys will trade um, in case he ha oh now I don't know what's a martyrdom I mean I gotta oof this is a tough choice which do I martyrdom the 310 or the 210 Uh, I don't even. Oh yeah, I do. I did top deck this to play with it. I'll get rid of the Albi Sage. 
Modern the I mean I I guess the two ten. <laughs> Actually the three ten's not next to him though. Thing is I could give this extra attack and destroy this. So I think I'm gonna do that. So we're not actually going to play the Silver God Knight this turn. We're really holding on to a lot of cards. So I'll Martyrdom you. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this thing out so it can't do anything to me. I'm afraid of like Holy Emulation and stuff like that. I mean, we are playing Gauntlet. Holy Emulation is a epic card. So we're a little bit uh, behind now because... He has one more card than us, and he has the initiative, it's his turn. And he has two more health than his general. But hopefully he doesn't have, like, another big thing. That's a big thing, and I don't have another Martyrdom. Okay, let's get our third Martyrdom, please. Problem is, I haven't been able to play units, like, with the Martyrdom. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Uh, get rid of Jaxi. Not Martyrdom number three. This is a good utility card, though. I will uh, play Silver Guard Knight and Sun Slit Defender. So how do I want to do that? I'm afraid of that thing so much. I'm so afraid of that thing. Okay, I'm just gonna run. So the knight goes there, and the defender goes here. I have like a lot of like big units at least to play. So hopefully he runs out of big units to play. Fortunately, this can just take out my three five in one swoop and still have four health left. And then what are you gonna do? Martyrdom. That's a good. Pl that's a good play on that because its ability is moot. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Ugh, that makes it makes that even stronger. Unfortunately, I think I'm just gonna hit into it with my general. Cause I have to get rid of it, right? I'll have to take nine damage. Hopefully, this Grincher draws me something great. <laughs> Let's get rid of the Sun Tide because I'm not ahead, so it's just gonna be like destroyed the first turn I pl uh, play it. You know what I could do? I could walk up here, Sun Tide and Arc Light. Let's get rid of the Flame Blood. We are gonna have much less health than him right now. Uh, did I cast any cells this game yet? I did cast a Martyrdom. So I could play this and then Martyrdom. I guess that's what I have to do. Twilight Sorcerer, Martyrdom. Yeah, let's do that. While he still has full health, we're going to use another Martyrdom. Oh! For some reason, I forgot I could get Bloodborne spells. Well, I think that just lost me the game, that, that misplay there. That was a misplay. Well, at least that way it can, um, was really, that was a bad play. <laughs> Ouch. You can hit me for 13 damage this turn. Uh. And I don't know the five cards he has in his hand to double that and win the game, maybe. Nah, I'm at 25 health. I don't think he's going to be able to win. But, man, wish I drew the Modern Dom. It's my fault, though. I forgot that I had played a Roar. I guess it was a 50%. No, actually, I think there's a, there's a, there, I think there's a, a, a two-thirds chance I was going to draw Modern Dom. Because I think I only played one Roar so far, and I've played two two uh two murder drops. Okay, you know what? I'll take that trade. 
I'm actually fine with that. I am very fine with that. Silver Guard Knight. Tether Mancer. Welp. Welp, buddy, welp, welp. I think I just go power with power now, just play big things as he just played big things. Roar is plus two attack for one. Probably will just replace that. It's so weird seeing Bloodborne spell in your action bar. Uh, or do I get rid of this Untied Maiden? Yeah, Suntide Maiden is just not going to do anything because last turn it could have been good, like away from him, and I played the Arclight Sentinel to finish off the big, the big dude. Okay. Um, so this can get rid of anything with 3 health, but I don't have anything, I could just hit this, play Lasting Judgment, so that's going to be 2, and I'll have 7 left. Um, I'll go with the Grincher. He's going to, this thing's going to get big. Maybe I should destroy it before it gets too big. Now that I'd use a lot of my stuff, you know. Okay, let's just play the Grincher. A staff you occur. I can deal four then. Kill that. And then Oh, that was actually kinda stupid. No, it wasn't that stupid, whatever. Okay. Interesting play, to say the least. Saber Spine's gonna finish that off. He's gonna hit me for five. At least nothing's able to be dispelled by this Tyler Master because I have nothing to dispel. Grisher already did his job. Now he's just a nice big drop for me. Martyrdom, okay. So he has multiple martyrdoms. And Roar. Okay, we are in like... Uh oh. Well, actually perfect. I can get rid of this with a Last in Judgment. And I am in territory where I'm going to be playing a playing my blood war so I'll return so the I'll be sage is really nice I'll get rid of the sundrop elixir as much as I'd love to heal um, I need different cards I could always draw it later because I have two of them in the deck martyrdom that was a great top deck okay so can I play actually all three seven nine perfect what a swing turn that was great <laughs> actually a great turn so play this oh I messed up. I should have uh should have destroyed this with the last judgment first. Crap. Well oh well. I'm gonna have to end up taking I guess not a huge deal. The only difference I guess this actually works in a different kind of way. I'm just taking seven damage on my general. <laughs> And I'm keeping a card in hand. So you know what? There was an argument that that play was the right play, but I accidentally just did. Okay. Well, now I hope he doesn't have any dispel for this big dude. Ooh. Um. So I can give this. I can make this a ten eight. I can make this a eight. 10 and they just cancel each other but then I'm left with nothing if I do lasting judgment don't even know what I'd play it on though if I do lasting judgment then I can that wouldn't do anything I then I could increase this health to 12 which would allow me to Kill it, but it has to be played in a minion this turn. I don't know which one I play it on. 
Maybe I'd do this. Maybe you Storm Elga on Last in Judgment and Roar. That would be pretty bold. Pretty bold. Did that even work? Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use all my cards like that. Flame Blood Warlock, whatever. So I'll just trade. I could deal eight. Nah, I'm, I have to kill this. Silly me, gotta kill that. And I will play the Storm Metal Golem. And then run away. Because you have more cards and I'm scared of you. Okay, there's a Sundrop Elixir to heal me up. But we're out of cards. That's the issue. Beam Shock. Beam Shock. Really? Grandmaster Zer? Roar? That thing's gonna be huge. Okay. Did we have another Martyr Nom? I don't even remember. <laughs> um. Silhouette Tracer, I guess that that helps me out a little bit. Uh, what do I give extra health? I can give this extra health. Uh, I mean, extra attack. I mean, still doesn't die to that, though. Or I could give this, bring this to four attack. Probably do this. So. Silhouette Tracer. Messed up. Messed up, I didn't play my Bloodborne spell. Oops. Should have played it on this actually before. Okay, so I guess he's not destroying that. Grincher. I mean, he's tempting fate here that I don't have a double divine bond. <laughs> Right? Otherwise, game might be over. Oh, he top deck an arc light? Did he really top deck an arc light? Ugh. I think this is game. Doubt there's anything I could do. I can't even roar this to be able to. Yeah, that, was a, that was a big mistake last turn. I'll get rid of this so I can heal at least. You don't want that to be able to kill it. So you can actually get a free hit on my general with your arc light. I don't know what I'm even holding out for. I guess if I draw another divine bond, I am back in it. Okay. Not divine bond, I meant, um, I meant martyr now. Or a divine bond actually could give me lethal. Would I lethal next turn if I top deck a divine bond and it's replaced? I'd have seven attack plus six thirteen. Yeah, I actually would have. No, I wouldn't actually, because the arc light. If there's no arc light, I would have lethal next turn if I top deck divine bond. Ugh. Oh. Now maybe yes. Do I have lethal if I top deck a divine bond? Nope, uh, that was bad. Well then, I can give this 7 attack. I mean, I can deal a lot of damage here. But ping that, I mean, I can't just leave my general open, that's the issue. Like, I think that's going to be game. Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, I think there's no way around this for me. I think I have a lost. I have a lost. Oh well. Is there any way I could delay my death? Does this delay it? Alright, 
our one chance now is, I guess, if he doesn't realize that he, uh... Oh, but I'm not even next to this, so it doesn't get healed. Well, he has lethal. All I have to do is move this Archean up here, attack my Blood to Alchemist, then move up with his Roared Grandmaster, sir. Does he see it? Okay, well, he had a different way. He had a different way. <laughs> well played. Damn. That was a pretty good game. Um... I guess I use my divine bonds. Not to, I keep saying that. I guess I use my uh, martyrdoms too early. Lesson learned, maybe. Well, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelers.